guys just got to meet Macy, our new kitten. Sorry this took so long to actually get around to doing. Um, we somehow lost the memory card for her camera and had to buy a new one yesterday. I think Macy stole it. She may have. It was on the counter and then disappeared. Um, it's also the first time we've had time off work together since we came back from Berlin, which was what, two weeks ago? Yeah, so it's been really busy. Um, loads of stuff happening since that. Um, contest prep started for both of us. Um, I kind of eased into it sort of right away after coming back from Berlin. Um, but then being at Stag last week, I kind of tightened up a bit before that and then kind of undid a little bit of that. But have since come further past that and have already I think I've already dropped like six and a half kilos from my top weight uh, in the first couple of weeks it just flew off me so far feeling pretty good about it just over what it's 11 weeks tomorrow I think, I think so. 11 weeks tomorrow um, have six kilos to drop uh, probably only need to drop three maybe four and then water cut the rest should be easy what's I'm going on with sure. you yeah i started my prep two days ago so this is my day three um i hadn't planned on starting for another couple of weeks but um i kind of felt like my motivation was lacking a little bit and i kind of had i kind of felt like i had no goals and stuff going to the gym so i just kind of i talked to my coach and we both kind of felt that it was gonna you know if it was gonna re-motivate me and get me working hard again then it was the best thing to do so i started it and i started at 56 Seven kilos is what I weighed in um, the morning before the morning that I started. I mean, I, I dropped since then. I've, I've dropped point was it point one a kilo every Each day? day yeah. yeah, so yeah. I was like two hundred grams down stuff, which I was kind of like, oh, this is slow. But Stephen's like, if you were to lose hundred grams a day every day until the show, you're going to be, be bang, bang on, on track. Yeah. So yeah, they're probably better off doing it slowly. And um, you know, we've we my. I've talked to my coach, we're gonna keep my carbs up this time and we're not gonna do anything drastic with my carbs at the moment. There's still too much time to be to go. So um, I mean, it's all about maintenance and obviously trying to be healthy at the same time. So uh, really looking forward to it and I feel so motivated. I kind of already feel like we're kind of seeing changes, you know, yeah. and even in my mood, I think, may, I just think maybe even when you just cut out crap food, like you don't think you realize the highs and lows that the sugar and all causes. So, um, you know, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot more motivated. And yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think, um, you know, I, I think it can be kind of difficult maybe for you seeing how fast so much weight drops off me and that's probably put in your head, oh, losing 100 grams a day is uh, not very much, but. I've always dealt in stones, stones and pounds yeah. as well. Like, so I think, uh, the point one thing just sounds like you know a lot whereas it is more kind of in pounds and stuff. Well, I mean 100 grams like 200 if you if you've done if you're down 100 grams a day so it's you know pounds, it's a half a pound, pound a day yeah. Yeah, not bad. Um, once it's going down that's all we need but I think like I, I was I was talking to a couple of people about it and the fact that I've dropped so much and I was thinking you know I, I haven't actually changed a huge amount but then I thought a little bit more about it like basically all I, I, I didn't change my diet very much I, I just cut out the crap and then lost that amount of weight that quick, but I went back through it and realized I was eating a lot of crap. Like I was saying, saying that, you know, if I was eating, you know, three or four pack of cookies three or four times a week, which I was doing, um, cutting that out, each time I cut that out, that was over a thousand calories. So if you're going to do, if you're cutting out 4,000 calories in a week, that's going to drop a lot of weight off you. Especially as well when I have just gotten my bike, which I will show you guys now. It's parked out here. I'll show you guys through the window because uh, I don't want to let the cat out. Um, but yeah, I, I got that on the bike to work scheme. Picked it up uh, a week or two ago. And um, have been cycling in and out to work most days. Um, which is about 25 minutes each way, um, which I think it's, it's eight and a half kilometers. So if I'm doing, you know, what, seven, 17 kilometer cycle a day, that's probably, I don't know, probably four, four or 500 calories, say. Yeah. something like that anyway. And that for me, you know, 
the, the biggest advantage I'm finding with that is that because I do it when I'm on the way to work and on the way home anyway, it takes a few minutes longer than the bus, but it does mean that I'm not finishing my hour, hour and a half in the gym and then doing 30, 40, 50 minutes of cardio. I'm doing it while I'm on the way home. So it's saving me a huge amount of time. Biggest thing I think that has changed as well, it's gonna make a huge, huge difference is Elaine in a genius move bought us a fan for the bedroom which our, our apartment is ridiculously warm all the time and um, now we have a big fan which means I won't be so uncomfortable from being too hot at night all the time which again means better sleep which will do nothing but help. Maisie, what are you doing? We brought Maisie yesterday to the vet to get her injections. Um, we had to walk her down uh, and she was incredibly well behaved. Um, really, really good and really brave and really, really nice to the vet as well. We were kind of expecting her to be jumping around the place and causing trouble, but no, nope, really, really good. And, and she let uh, him cut her nails, which yeah. is a good thing because we are cut to bits. I have loads of scratches on my legs. So does so does Elaine. So we bought her some new toys. Yeah, we're actually glad she's actually playing with them for once because we've spent all this money getting her all this stuff, and you now she just is in love with her wash basket, and that's all she does. She just plays in her wash basket yeah. and sleeps in her wash basket. So we've actually taken it away, so she will <laughs> she will play with her toys. Yeah. Um super cute. Even the vet said she was cute. And, and the vet veterinary nurse as well. She also they weighed her and she weighs 0.9 of a kilo. So she weighs two pounds. Um so so tiny. Yeah. My sister came over um, during the week, uh, Nicola, and she had to meet Maisie, like, and we went and we bought her a toy, and it's this one where it's like, you press it, and then it, this motor moves this, like, mouse, and you have to chase it and stuff, but it said on the box, it was like, you know, the toy your cat can't resist, we were like, oh, I totally beg to differ, she hmm. was terrified of it, but uh, she seems to have warmed to it a little bit. But yeah, plan for the day, we're going to... Five and swords, yeah. I think, yeah train up there and then we're going to we might go cinema actually we'll see we will see what the day plans out like we might also make protein waffles because i bought a protein maker no, a, waffle maker. a waffle maker i mean <laughs> in a little little, little i think yeah. yeah a couple weeks ago so uh yeah hopefully we can try that out because we we'll haven't probably used have to it do yet. a little bit of a grocery shop we did some yesterday but we need to get meat for some meal preps, so we can probably do that too. The chances of her sitting still for this are yeah. very, very yeah. slim. Macy! <gasps> yes! See? Macy, say hello! Say hi to everyone. Not, not bite. She has taken to biting not quite a bite. bit. Not yeah, bite! The vet just said, don't encourage it. Just She doesn't mean it, but just... And she's little baby teeth. Little baby teeth. Little messer. Oh, she's calmed a little bit. Yes. She's like, hi Waving. YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> okay, go play. Okay, right, go we'll play, let her baby. down. Go play.
don't even know how long covered since my last trip. And I am dead. Absolutely dead. New life at Stairmaster. It will be the death of me. It's good though. It's good. We're tired. Very tired. I feel kind of weird as well. Like, I don't know, I'm hungry, but I sort of feel kind of bloated as well. And I don't know how that is. That happens to me though. I get kind of bloaty when I haven't eaten enough. It's not very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we are dealing with. She's determined anyway. But now I was kind of saying to Stephen, I kind of, my mood was way down already and I'm only three days into prep, so I don't know if I put too drastically, but I don't think I have. Um, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna have days that are just a bit off. Um, I kind of thought I'd kind of ease into it, but I haven't, and um, it's kind of hit me head on, so. Um, I don't know, but look, all part of the game. No one makes us do this, so we signed up to it for a reason. And I'm looking forward to seeing the results. She got it. Good job, Macy! She got it? Yeah! So clever! She's the cutest. Uh, gonna have some chicken for dinner and some rice. Because that is our life.